In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for N2O2, that's dinitrogen dioxide. So the first thing we need to do is count the valence electrons up for this N2O2 molecule. Nitrogen on the periodic table, that's in group 5A, also called 15, it has five valence electrons. We have two nitrogen atoms, multiply that by two. Oxygen, group 16, it has six valence electrons. We have two oxygen atoms, multiply that by two. So 10 plus 12, that gives us 22 total valence electrons for N2O2. So we'll place the least electronegative elements in the center of the Lewis structure. So nitrogen is less electronegative than oxygen. So let's put a nitrogen here, put another one here, and then we'll put the oxygens on the outside. We have a total of 22 valence electrons. So we'll put pairs of electrons between the atoms first. That'll create the chemical bonds. Right there, there, and here. Next, we'll go around the outside of the atoms to complete the octets on the oxygens. At this point, we've completed the octets for the oxygens, and we've used a total of 18 valence electrons. So we have four more left. Let's put those on the nitrogens. We'll put two here and here. So we've used all 22 valence electrons, but the nitrogens, they don't have octets. What we can do is move electrons here from the outside to be shared between the oxygen and the nitrogen. So now we have a double bond here. We're still only using a total of 22 valence electrons. The oxygen, that has eight, and the nitrogen has eight here as well. So we can do the same thing on the other side. Now the oxygen, it still has eight. The nitrogen, it has eight. So each atom in N2O2 now has an octet. We're using the 22 valence electrons, and this is the Lewis structure for N2O2, dinitrogen dioxide. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for N2O2, and thanks for watching.